Don't watch this review. This is a cursed review. If you watch this, you're gonna die. I'm telling you, don't watch this review. This is your last warning. You're gonna die if you watch this. Yeah, it might take 60 years or so for it to happen, but I guarantee if you watch this review, someday you're gonna die. In fact, you're gonna die if you don't watch this review. So you might as well stick around. Hit that like button. Hit that... Every horror fan has their own guilty pleasure. Yeah, you might like religious horror, maybe Lovecraftian horror, slashers, killer animals, giallo, psychological thrillers, movies based on true events. Well, the subgenre that tickles my fancy the most are cursed movies. Movies about or that deal with killer cinema. You know the trope, you watch this movie, you're gonna die. Maybe it was The Ring that really sparked my interest in the subgenre. Maybe it was Monty Python's Funniest Joke in the World sketch. It was obvious that this joke was lethal. No one could read it and live. Whatever the case may be, I absolutely love the idea of a film being so scary or so cursed that it will literally kill you if you watch it. So when I heard about Antrim, the deadliest film ever made from 2018, I had to check it out. Even if the movie is bad, I still wanna see it. It was made by the good people at Uncorked Entertainment, and they seem like a film company reminiscent of Wild Eye or even The Asylum. Uncorked made groundbreaking cinema like The 13th Friday, Paintball Massacre, and who could forget Beaster Day. Yeah, with titles like these, how can you go wrong? So, will Antrim scare you to death? Or are you gonna die of boredom? Let's find out together. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. Antrim, the deadliest film ever made, starts almost as a documentary exploring and explaining cursed cinema. Now, no one has ever seen a 70s film called Antrim and lived long to tell the tale. Some die from seizures, others by seemingly normal incidents, and some have even died by fire. This whole opening feels like 2016's Fury of the Demon. It's another movie about cursed films told in the style of a documentary, but it was made by Wild Eye and has terrible Photoshop. Anyways, tales have been told and passed down about Antrim, and this documentary film crew has found the only remaining copy of it. While looking through the film's print, they notice a bunch of symbols and disturbing images intersliced in the film's stock. Then they warn the viewer that they are about to play that recording. We've been warned. And then we have a 30 second timer, which gives you time to shut off the movie if you want. Padding the movie with 30 seconds of nothing? Antrim, the deadliest movie ever made? More like Antrim, the laziest movie ever made. The film within a film starts and we get that 70s folk horror vibe, reminiscent of some films like Blood on Satan's Claw and Eyes of Fire. Nathan and his sister Oral Lee are putting down their family dog. Nathan is sad about this and when asked in the car, the mother says that the dog is going to hell. This gives Nathan night terrors. These nightmares really mess with Nathan, so Oral Lee takes an occult book and leads Nathan into the woods. They're gonna dig into the many layers of hell to rescue the soul of their beloved dog. They read the book and camp out in between days of digging. As the days pass and as they get closer to hell, more and more spooky things begin to take place. And there's honestly not much more than that. They run into two demon-worshipping rednecks. There's some nice character development between Oral Lee and Nathan, and their bond is captured well. Oral Lee will do anything to help get rid of Nathan's night terrors. She hides some secrets from him, but he hides even darker secrets from her. The plot isn't that involved. The location is just the woods with some flashbacks and spooky imagery popping in and out. The story isn't dark, it's not very scary, but I will say that the sound design is pretty epic. They may have gone a little overboard with their spooky choices, but it's all well done. The end of the movie recaps with the documentary people talking about their efforts to try to restore this film. 
I know it's all fake, but I really enjoy these parts. All in all, Antrim has a fun premise and was able to decently capture 70s folk horror look-wise. Sound design takes risk, is a bit out there, but decently effective at creating an unsettling vibe. Some imagery is spooky, but some of it looks rough around the edges. The story is a bit too bare for my liking, plus it's not horrific. I would expect a cursed film to be a bit disturbing, unsettling, or even scary, but it doesn't really have any of those elements. I would only recommend Antrim if you like the premise of cursed cinema like I do. It's not groundbreaking, it's cheap, it doesn't really do what it sets out to do, but it can be a decent time if you're able to buy into the premise. And would you look at that? Turns out the movie had false advertising. Antrim? I'd say it's not to die for. I watched the whole thing and look at me, healthy as a fiddle. I didn't die. So he died. Shortly after filming, he kicked the bucket. And all he left me in his will was the Necronomicon and his stupid movie collection. So comment below with what you think I should do with all those movies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go read from the Necronomicon. Oh, by the way, stay spooky, everyone. Thank you.